children, how are you all? I am Daljinder, your mentor for English. And in today's video, as you can see on your screen, we are going to talk about the next part of preposition that is part 4 of our chapter and that is prepositions of direction. We have already preposition of position. Other things we have done. Okay, if you have not checked out those videos, go back to the channel and check out those videos. Those are also important for your exams. In today's video, we will be talking about all the prepositions which are direction related. In direction, you all understand that we are going which way. In you know, which way we are going. That is our direction. So related to that, all of our English words which we help out, which we help words to connect in sentence formation, in prepositions, we will be talking about in this video. Mein. Okay, so let's get started. So, just like you can see on your screen, pe sakte hai, prepositions of direction. A preposition of direction, mein jo first preposition aaj hum padne wale hai, it is from. Now, from, as we all know, from means kahan se koi cheez hai, hai? from where it is coming. Jaise hum kisi ko koi greeting card likhte hai na? and then uske ending mein we write down from our name XYZ, right? So, why do we write that? Wo hum isle likhte hai, so that we want to convey ki ye parcel or ye greeting card or ye gift kahan se hai. Where is its origin? Hai? What is the starting point? So, same is here with the, the preposition. It says, from is used with the starting point or the point of departure. Jahan se koi cheez nikalti hai, thik hai? Uh, and a place or the point of origin or from where it gets started. Okay. So let's look at some examples which we from to understand karne mein help karenge. Number one is they came from China. So wo kaha se aai hai? Thik hai? Where do they belong from? So that is telling us. We started from Chennai. Kaha se start kara? What is the origin point of their journey? Thik hai? From Chennai. The train from Kolkata has arrived. Thik hai? Jo train kaha se chali? Kolkata se chali. Kaun se preposition bata rahi hai it is the preposition from. Fir ek aur example dekhte hai. She comes from office at 6 p.m. Wo office says 6 baje tak wapis aati hai, right? Again, it's telling us the relation here. He fell from the fifth floor of the hotel. Wo fifth floor se niche gir gaya, right? So, all these prepositions, or I mean, all these sentences here are telling us the use of preposition from, okay? So, again, I'll just clarify from is used for the starting point, okay? Or departure or the point of origin. So, in Tino Chizo ke satham from preposition ka use karte. Is it clear with you all? Now, let's look on to the next preposition. So, look here on the screen. The next preposition is off. O double F off. Now, off ka hum kaabe use karte. Off is used in two places. It says, off means from the surface. Either we are using it in sentences which are related to some kind of surface. Surface just like shelf ho gaya, floor ho gaya, okay? All these are examples of surfaces. And also, down from. Down from matlab kisi cheez se niche girna ya, you know, come down in position. So, uske liye bhi hum off ka use kar sakte hain. Jaise ki, let's look at these sentences. He took the hat off the table. Thik hai, usne hat ko table se hata diya. Now, table is like working like a surface, hai na? Horizontal thing, koi bhi cheez hoti hai, so hum surface bolte hai, right? The boy fell off the tree. Uh, fell off the tree. Now, tree is not a surface. Tree is not horizontal. Hai na? But wo tree se niche gir As I told you, the second use which we can make of off is what? Down from. Kisi position se niche aana. So, obviously, he fell from the tree. Toh, wo niche gir gaya, right? So, there we can use it. The ball rolled off the floor. Now, floor is a surface. Hai na? So, wahan pe ball kya kar Roll off kar gai. Keep off the grass. Now here, what does this mean? Keep off the grass. Keep off the grass means grass ke upar nahi chado. Matlab, don't walk over the grass or don't go over it. Okay? Now it's again working like a surface. Okay? Flat surface. Alright? Take this packet off the shelf. Is packet ko shelf se hata do. Here we can see it, you know, it, it can be used in both the ways. Ki ek to, uh, maybe the shelf is at an upper height. Okay? Or shelf se hum kisi ye cheez ko niche remove kar rahe Also, we can see the shelf is a horizontal surface. Okay. So, uske reference may be hum pe use kare. So, both things can be seen in this sentence. So, I hope uh, this is clear to you. So, off hum kaabe use kare. Off will use uh, with reference to some kind of surface. Take it. Or ya fir kisi cheez ko agar position mein hum niche leke aare hai. Then also we can use off. Alright. Okay. Now, let's look on to the next end. Next preposition I mean. So, let's look here. The next preposition is out of. Take it. Now, this is not out of, you actually pronounce this as out of. Okay, jo ek single OF hota hai, usse of nahi bolte hai. Okay, there is no sound of F. Okay, now out of means from the interior of something. Kisi cheez ke andar se, when we take out something, you know, or let's say someone is going out of a room. Jaisi hum bolte out of a room. So, matlab, kamere ke andar se, inside of a room, towards outside, right? So, he went out of the room. So, same sentences here also. 
द बर्ड फ्लू आउट ऑफ द केज केज के अंदर से बाहर चली गई बर्ड है ना फ्रॉम द इंटीरियर ऑफ अ केज इट वेंट आउटसाइड द केज शी जम्प्ड आउट ऑफ द शेल्फ ठीक है वो शेल्फ से बाहर जम्प कर गई ठीक है देन आई सॉ हिम कमिंग आउट ऑफ द लाइब्रेरी मैंने उसे लाइब्रेरी से बाहर आते हुए देखा सो ऑब्वियसली वॉज इन साइड द लाइब्रेरी नाउ ही इज आउट साइड द लाइब्रेरी राइट सो वेन एवर वी हैव समथिंग विच इज इन मोशन ठीक है और वो किसी चीज के अंदर से इट इज गोइंग आउट साइड देन वी यूज द प्रपोजिशन आउट ऑफ आई होप दिस इज क्लियर विद यू नाउ लेट्स अकॉर्ड यू द नेक्स्ट प्रपोजिशन सो नेक्स्ट प्रपोजिशन इज फॉर नाउ लेट्स लुक हेयर फॉर को हम कब यूज करते हैं और कहां पे यूज करते हैं इन अवर इंग्लिश ग्रामेटिक्स For is used to show direction only when the verb indicates the beginning of a movement. ठीक है For कब use करते हैं हम For direction के लिए तभी use करते हैं जब uh, you know when the verb verb you know the activity ठीक है क्रिया whatever we call it. So it indicates the beginning of a movement. So some kind of movement is starting here. ठीक है तब हम For को direction के लिए use कर सकते हैं Now let's understand this with example. She left for Japan early in the morning. Now, uh, to go for Japan, it's a, you know, beginning of a moment. It's a beginning of a journey, right? So, वहाँ पे हम for को use कर रहे हैं to show the direction. That is, which way is she headed? She is headed for Japan. ठीक है? So यहाँ पे direction show रहा है. We set off for New York. So हम New York के लिए ready हैं और we are maybe leaving for New York. ठीक है? So again, it's showing you the direction towards the destination. ठीक है? Towards the beginning of a movement. ठीक है? They left for home late at night. ठीक है वो घर जाने के लिए देर से निकले ठीक है दैट इज अगेन हेयर इट इज शोइंग द डायरेक्शन विच वे आर देडेड विच वे इज द जर्नी हेडेड दैट इज टूवर्ड्स देयर होम सो वेन यू नो देर इज अ बिगनिंग ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ जर्नी और स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ समथिंग ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ मूवमेंट देयर वी कैन यूज फॉर टू इंडिकेट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दैट जर्नी और डायरेक्शन ऑफ दैट मूवमेंट क्लियर लेट्स लुक ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट प्रपोजिशन हेयर So children, हमारे पास जो next preposition है, which will help us, you know, improve our English skills, is against. Now against में I've seen a lot of children are confused. तो वो against को कई जगह पे use नहीं कर पाते हैं. You know, when there are fill ups, जहाँ पे आपको preposition fill करना होता है, there I have seen a lot of children are not able to use this preposition. So let's understand this preposition. So against means to have contact or pressure. ठीक है, against का मतलब क्या होता है कि किसी चीज के साथ contact बनाना या किसी चीज के against pressure दिखाना. ठीक है, so both the things can be seen here. The child threw the ball against the wall. जो child उसने क्या करा? उसने ball को फेंका किसकी तरफ फेंका? Wall के against फेंका. Now what does this mean here? Now this doesn't mean कि उसने wall के contact में फेंका. This doesn't make sense है ना? It only means that उसने pressure के साथ wall की तरफ ball को he threw it, right? The crowd pressed against the door. जो क्राउड था जो लोगों का ग्रुप था उसने डोर के अगेंस्ट प्रेस करा नाउ हियर इट इज शोइंग बोथ थिंग्स इट इज शोइंग ऑब्वियसली अगर डोर को प्रेस करना है तो आपको उसके साथ कांटेक्ट में रहना पड़ेगा एंड ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू इफ यू आर सो मेनी पीपल आर यू नो प्रेसिंग इट तो उस पर प्रेशर भी लग रहा है ठीक है सो बोथ द थिंग्स कैन बी सीन इन दिस सेंटेंस इन राइट द नेक्स्ट वन इट सेज ही पुट द लैडर अगेंस्ट द वॉल सो अब उसे लैडर को लैडर मीन द सीढ़ी जिसपे हम चढ़ते हैं राइट अब ना लैडर को उसे वॉल के ऊपर प्रेशर लगाने की तो जरूरत नहीं है ही डजेंट हैव टू इंसर्ट द लैडर इन टू इट राइट सो ही जस्ट हैव टू मेक इट कॉन्टैक्ट सो दैट वो स्टेबल रहे राइट सो हेयर इट इज शोइंग वॉट इट इज शोइंग कॉन्टैक्ट राइट शी स्टूड विद हर बैक अगेंस्ट द वॉल वो खड़ी हुई कैसे खड़ी हुई अपनी बैग ऐसे रख के खड़ी हो गई नो वट डज इट शोज इट शोज दैट शी वॉज इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद द वॉल शी वॉज नॉट प्रेसिंग द वॉल राइट इट्स ऑफ नो यूज सो इट मीन्स कॉन्टैक्ट हेयर राइट देन ही हिट इज हेड अगेंस्ट द ब्रांच उसने अपना जो हेड है वो ब्रांच के साथ हिट कर लिया नाउ इट इट इज नॉट जस्ट शोइंग कॉन्टैक्ट ऑब्वियसली हिट करते हुए कॉन्टैक्ट तो हो गया ही बट इट इज ऑल्सो शोइंग दैट ऑब्वियसली विद सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ प्रेशर ही मस्ट हैव हिट इज हेड राइट सो ही हिट इज हेड अगेंस्ट द ब्रांच सो कॉन्टैक्ट एंड प्रेशर बोथ थिंग्स आर शोन हेयर ऑल राइट सो आई होप नाउ यू आर क्लियर विद दिस प्रपोजिशन एंड यू वोट मेक मिस्टेक्स विद दिस राइट लेट्स गॉन्ट टू द नेक्स्ट वन Our next preposition is to. Now let us understand where, where do we use to, and there is also a preposition towards. Okay. So, first, we will understand the meaning of to and towards. To and towards, I have seen a lot of children again mix them up. So, let's understand it properly. So, to is used for a destination. Okay. Destination is the final point where we want to reach. Like we want to go from Delhi to Agra. So, Agra is our destination, right? 
सो इट इज यूज फॉर अ डेस्टिनेशन और द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ अ जर्नी अगेन द फाइनल पॉइंट जहां पर भी आप पहुंचना चाहते हो ठीक है He went from Delhi to Ambala. Now, what is the example given here? वो Delhi से Ambala की तरफ गया. So Ambala is your final destination, right? Oh, that's a movie also, right? So here we are using the preposition to. The next one, she is coming to India as a tourist. अब उसकी destination कहाँ है? कहाँ से? We don't know from where is she coming, but she is coming to India. India is the destination, right? So with India, we are using the preposition to. The train started from Kolkata and came to Delhi. ठीक है Kolkata से start हुई थी हमने from preposition पढ़ा था starting of a journey or starting beginning. So it is used here. ठीक है and came to Delhi. So final point or end point of the journey is Delhi. So Delhi के साथ हम preposition to use कर रहे हैं, right? The next sentence. Now let's look at the next sentence. He was on his way to the station. ठीक है मतलब he was on his way to the station वो तो station की तरफ आ रहा था मतलब what was the final point where he wanted to reach? It was the station. So station के साथ हम preposition we are using to. Clear? Last one let's see. We went from London to New York. वो London से निकले ठीक है and where did they go? They went to New York. So New York was the end point of their journey. So we are using the preposition to here. So two हम कहाँ पे use करेंगे? Two will use for the final destination or the end point of the journey, right? और from कहाँ use करते हैं? From we use for the beginning of the journey, जहाँ से हम start करते हैं और the departure. All right? Now let's look under the next preposition. जो हमारी next preposition है, it is towards. I told you two and towards में there's a lot of confusion among certain children. So let's see what is towards. So towards is used to indicate the direction of something. किसी चीज का direction indicate करने के लिए हम preposition towards का use करते हैं। कहाँ पे करते हैं? Let's look at some sentences. First one, they went towards the airport. So यहाँ पे हम किस तरफ जा रहे हैं? ठीक है? What is the direction of our journey? वो show करेगा, ठीक है? They went towards the airport. मतलब वो airport की तरफ गए हैं। It doesn't mean कि वो airport ही गए हैं, ठीक है? You understand? If I say he went to the airport, it is. It means it is a confirmed thing that he went to airport. Me gaya hai, thik hai? Or he went till the point of airport. Now here it is saying he went towards the airport means he went to the airport. He may go to a restaurant. He may go to a cafe there. Thik hai? It is just showing the direction towards a certain point. All right. It it doesn't confirm your location. He was speeding towards the town. मतलब वो अपनी गाड़ी बहुत तेज से चला रहा था किस तरफ चला रहा था towards the town. ठीक है. Now it may not be necessary कि वो town ही उसकी final destination थी और end point of the journey थी. He may you know cross the town and go ahead. Town cross करके आगे भी जा सकता है वो right? But his direction was towards the town. मतलब वो town की तरफ जा रहा था. ठीक है. The train was coming towards the station. Train जो है station की तरफ आ रही थी. Doesn't mean the train will stop at the station. The train can pass through the station also, right? I saw him hurrying towards me. मैंने उसे देखा कि वो मेरी तरफ भागता भागता आ रहा था. He may just pass along, right? So it's it's not showing the final destination. It is just showing कि हमारा motion किस तरफ जा रहा है, ठीक है? Which way are we moving? He stood with his back towards me. मेरी तरफ वो back करके खड़ा हो गया. Then she marked towards the river. So उसने किस तरफ मार्क करा? She marked towards the river. ठीक है? अब हो भी सकता है that river के along कोई और चीज़ हो. There might be a tree. She may be marking to right. Then he ran towards the door. So वो door की तरफ भागा. ठीक है? That's it. So in this we understand that two tells us the final position, final direction. I mean the final destination जहाँ पे हमें पहुँचना है. And towards tells us कि which way we are moving. ठीक है? It doesn't tell us the final point. ठीक है? It may indicate a point जहाँ से हम pass करके आगे भी जा सकते हैं. ठीक है? Or we may even stop before that position. So जैसे कि ये वाला example है, he went towards the airport मतलब airport की तरफ गया था. And he may stop midway. वो बीच में रुक जाए. वो भी इसके तहत right? So this is your use of to and towards. All right. I hope this is clear with you all. So children, this brings us to the towards the end of this video. So आज की वीडियो में हमने preposition of direction पढ़ा, ठीक है? I hope you understood all of those topics. And in case you have any queries, you can comment down your queries in the comment section, ठीक है? You can reach us out to these details that you can see on your screen, ठीक है? I'll see you in the next video, preposition part five, जहाँ पे हम we'll talk about the movement and other things about prepositions. All right? Till then, this is Daljinder, your mentor for English. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.